I'm in my teens. I need to survive. No. I'm in my 20s. It's time I forget to survive and relearn how to live. For 22 years, I have struggled to find my niche. I would upload content only to simply archive them immediately after uploading. Why, I asked myself. Why did I do this? Why was I in constant fluctuation with what I wanted when life was moving along? And it was moving along quickly. And I was not living. I was merely a placeholder with no purpose. But for 22 years, this has gone out far too long. This was not the way of life I wanted. Why did I not know what I wanted? Why do I stray at the first thought of pleasing others but never myself? To put it in simple words, I was not aware of my presence as something to be nourished. This is now my chance to stop feeling lost inside. I have scrolled endlessly through social media, saving trips and creativity to my favorites while I stayed put in the only position I knew. I no longer want this. My constant frustration, confusion, and intense desire should not exist. I might have had my existential crisis moment, questioning, pondering, thinking, but never did I have my epiphany moment until now. My insecurity is my strength I see presently. I can help myself and others as I document how to live properly when the mind and body alone are so accustomed to being available to everyone but yourself. This is my trailer for my 20s. This is a message to myself, as well as to you. Your life is not forever going to be stagnant. Your existence begins today. I will soar and learn how to experience my companionship without allowing my overthinking skills to limit my actions and ruining my chances at life. Whether in person or content, I have fluctuated from one topic to the next with no solution in mind. It was my constant frustration and comparison and that intensive desire to be more, to be someone, to be something new. Well, this is my indefinite resolve. My chapter is only beginning. I'm here to show you the beauty and warmth of existence as a 22-year-old reclaiming its existence. You know that feeling when everything clicks? Something inside you suddenly understands it all? Some people may call it the development of the frontal lobe. I call it self-revelation. I can see miles ahead of me, like the universe. My sight is expansive. Covering the path ahead of me, I can see myself grow and heal. I no longer see myself within the self-made prison of my mind. I'm made of possibilities. It's like a light has been turned on inside me, illuminating all the hidden corners of my soul. The doubts and fears that once held me back are now replaced with a sense of purpose and clarity. I am ready to embrace this newfound sense of self and step boldly into the unknown. I can feel the energy coursing through me, propelling me forward towards my true potential. It's a liberating feeling, knowing that I am capable of so much more than I ever imagined. I know it will be difficult, nothing is ever easy, but I know how much I'll be learning of myself of my dreams, my ambitions. This is the first step I take towards my goals. And I can already feel myself growing stronger and more confident. Challenges are no longer obstacles, but chances for improvement and independence. I'm excited to see where this journey will take me. And I am filled with the sense of determination to conquer whatever lies ahead. My mind is clear, my heart is full, and I am ready to embrace the endless possibilities that await me. The future is mine for the taking and I am ready to make the most of it. I embrace my freedom and embark on a journey to heal my inner child. 
I stop saying no and forever say yes to feel, to love, to care, to heal, to be someone. But most of all, I say yes to documenting every little moment I pass through. Because if it's not documented, I won't feel like I've lived. So here's to forgetting how to survive and learning once more how to live. You've done it before, why not do it again now?